Jennifer with the uh, Game Fanatics, and I'm here with Tommy Tellerico. Okay, and um, this is the mastermind, one of the masterminds behind um, Video Games Live. Now, can you tell us a little bit about that? I know nothing about it. <laughs> no, no. Uh, video Games Live is uh, all the greatest video game music of all time, played by a full symphony and choir. Right. Uh, but what makes it really special and unique is that everything's completely synchronized to massive video screens and rock and roll lighting and special effects and a stage show production and interactive elements with the crowd. So I kind of like to describe it as having all of the power and emotion of a symphony orchestra, right. but combined with the energy and excitement of a rock concert, mixed together with all the cutting edge visuals and technology and interactivity and fun that video games provide. So, you know, I created the show, uh, I've been a video game composer for over 23 years mm -hmm. and I wanted to prove to the world how culturally significant and artistic video games have become while also helping to usher in a whole new generation of young people to appreciate a symphony. So, you know, I wanted to create a show for everyone. Even if you don't play video games at all, you'll be right. able to follow along and kind of be sucked into the spectacle of it all. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Now you have um, level three is on Kickstarter right now. Yes. Now how are you guys, are, are how's that proceeding? Yeah, so we're, we're just over halfway right now. Uh, we got, you know, um, we got about halfway to, to go. And, um, you know, so we're doing, you know, a lot of promotion right now. And uh, everybody, says it's going to be you know that you, you explode at the end so we're right. we're setting up we're waiting you know waiting for that uh, waiting for that to happen so we're uh, doing everything we can to get the word out okay awesome awesome now you have been playing guitar for a very long time yes when did you start customizing your own guitars uh when i started video games live right yeah yeah about 10 years ago um you know, wanted to start, you know, I have a steampunk guitar, a Spider-Man, a Zelda, you know, all sorts of crazy, uh, wacky stuff. Do you have a favorite? Uh, huh, that's a great question. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I have a favorite guitar, but it's not a customized one. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my favorite guitar is a, a Schecter, it's called a Hellraiser C6. Mm -hmm. um, but my favorite guitar to play on stage, yes. uh, I mean, for a visual standpoint, it's mm -hmm. probably the Spider-Man Les Paul. Uh, yeah. They only made 75 of them. Uh, it came out in the 80s. It's a custom Gibson Les Paul, mother of pearl, spider inlays on the on the neck, right. and all of them are individually numbered and signed by Stan Lee. Oh, beautiful! So that's that's kind of a special one. Um, but uh, and the steampunk guitar, mm -hmm. it probably gets the most cheers. That's the, yeah, the fan favorite right there. It's very heavy and it's awful to play. Right. Uh, I, I mean, it's difficult to play, but mm -hmm. it, again, it looks great, so I gotta right. pull it out. You know? Awesome, awesome. Now, I was just curious that you were discovered, you, you started out as a game tester. Yes. And you had a Turbo Graphic 16 t-shirt on. True story, you've done your research. <laughs> Do you um, still have it? I do. Really? Of awesome. course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I have it hanging up in my studio, in right. fact. Uh, well, not hanging up, but it's... But it's, still, it's, it's there. Yeah. And because uh, it, it always gives me inspiration. Right. Uh, to, you know, remember, like, you know, what it was like, you know, coming to California. And I was homeless. You right. know, I was sleeping under a pier. Uh, no money, no friends, no place to stay, mm -hmm. no job, you know. And... Uh, and, and, and I, w I wore that shirt the first day I came to California. Uh, I wore it, uh, or I, I went to a job interview for selling guitars right. uh, and keyboards at a guitar center. And they, got, they gave me the job and the next day I, uh, I, I started and the, I was wearing the TurboGrafx shirt and the first person who walked in saw the right. shirt and they were a producer at a video game company, Virgin, mm -hmm. uh, down the street. They were just starting up and so they hired me as a tester. So I always kind of look at that. It's it's like a symbol to me of, of uh, you know, kind of where I came from. And, right. Uh, you know, always appreciate, you know, uh, the opportunities that I've been mm -hmm. given. Very, very awesome. Uh, do you have any, any advice for anyone out there who is trying to make it in the industry? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it, 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 to make it in any part of the video game industry, right. uh, you know, it's all about networking. Mm -hmm. So, and the way to get, go into networking, uh, the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, GDC, uh, their website's gdconf.com. Uh, join the International Game Developers Association. It's a nonprofit organization. They have uh, local chapters all, all around the world. IGDA 
international game developers, IGDA.org. Right. Uh, if you're specifically into music, um, the Game Audio Network Guild is a mm -hmm. nonprofit organization. Uh, and there's a lot of books. There's so many books on Amazon to get into the, you know, do you want to be a game producer? Do you want to be a programmer, or an artist, a musician? There's books online. And then uh, Gamasutra.com is an amazing resource as well. Okay, awesome, awesome. Any uh, lasting words you want to uh, say to uh, your fans? Just to, uh, to, to make sure you, you sign up to our mailing list on videogameslive.com mm -hmm. so that we'll email you when we come to your area and you'll be able to get tickets before the general public. So the best seats, the best prices. And also join us on Facebook because whenever we come to a location, we do a Facebook events page for each event. Right. And we ask the people to help us create the set list. Mm -hmm. So each, you know, so we want the audience to, the, the show's for, for the audience, not for me. Right. You know, so they decide, they help this decide what our set list is. So join us on Facebook. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you very much. Um, and please support the Kickstarter. There ah. you go. <laughs> uh, how many days do you have left, left to be? There's 18, 12 days, 12 days. As of right now. Okay. So less than two weeks. Okay, awesome. Yep. Definitely. All thank right, um, this is Jennifer from Game Fanatics with... Tommy Tellerico. And Game On.